بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم لیڈیز اینڈ جنرمن وی ویلکم بیک ٹو دی کورس آن کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ واٹ وی آر ڈوئنگ از دیٹ لاسٹ ٹائم وی لکڈ ایٹ دی رول آف دا ورلڈ بینک اینڈ کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو گو آن ٹو دی او ای سی ڈی پرنسپلس اینڈ کارپوریٹ گورننس ناؤ او ای سی ڈی ایز آل آف یو آلریڈی نو از دی آرگنائزیشن فار اکنامک کارپوریشن اینڈ ڈیولپمنٹ اینڈ اگین از پیر ہیڈنگ دی ماڈرنائزیشن پروسیس آف یوروپ ایز اے ہول اینڈ اگین انشورنگ that in that process of change, uh, they are hinged on certain values, certain structures, certain SOPs and certain practices to ensure that uh, the corporate bodies and the different stakeholders do not uh, go out into the non-textualization process of corruption and uh, of uh, the elimination of accountability. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we see is that the first principle is the rights of the shareholders. Now, when we are looking at the rights uh, of the shareholders then rights to secure ownership of their shares, right to full disclosure of information, voting rights and participation in decisions on sale or modification of corporate assets. So what we see is, is that these are the very fundamental rights that they have and then we talk about mergers and new share issues. The guidelines go on to specify a host of other issues connected to the basic concern of protecting the value of the corporation. So again, extremely important that the value of the organization cannot be compromised and all of these stipulations rules and regulations are basically to reinforce and augment the organization and to institutionalize its processes so that uh, there are lesser variables and the fact that uh, the organization can move forward uh, can uh, go global can connect with uh, different potential clients and participate in international competitions and most importantly uh, again they have to take consideration of all of these very important points. Now, the second principle is the equitable treatment of shareholders. The OECD is concerned with protecting minority shareholders' rights by setting up systems that keep insiders, including managers and directors, from taking advantage of their role. So this is very, very important, conflict of interest. Now, when we are talking about conflict of interest, then it is obligatory upon the directors of an organization not to participate in any speculation or in any buying or selling of shares. And secondly, the allegiance of the board directors is to the organization. And that is extremely important collectively and individually. And that tends to protect the rights of the minorities uh, through that. Insider trading, for example, is strictly prohibited and, and directors should disclose any material interest regarding transactions. So again, the directors cannot go into insider trading. Uh, that is uh, a punishable act. And most importantly, tends to sacrilege the very concept of uh, the fact that uh, the different regulators are participatory, are dialogue based and are coming up with uh, solutions which are uh, conducive to a particular area, region uh, or institution. Now, that is extremely important. Now, the next OECD principle is the role of stakeholders in corporate governance and the OECD recognizes that there are other stakeholders in companies in addition to the shareholders banks, bondholders and workers, for example, are important stakeholders in the way in which companies perform and make decisions. So, again what we see is, is that the OECD basically further elaborated that how there can be good governance and how the different stakeholders and shareholders can get together to ensure that there is more, more longevity of the organization and the profits are also uh, going up. The OECD guidelines lay out several general provisions for protecting stakeholders interest and that is the most important because that is the prime concern of any organization, its, its shareholders as first and then uh, its clients. Uh, another very important clause is disclosure and transparency. The OECD lays on a number of provisions for disclosure and communication of key facts about the company ranging from financial details to governance structures including the board of directors and their remuneration. So what we see is, is that uh, based upon the principle of disclosure and transparency, the uh, corporate structure has to be defined and uh, whatever emoluments, benefits and remunerations are given, they also have to be shared and all of the financial dealings of the company have to be shown to the board of directors on an annual basis which will lead to disclosure and transparency in a better way. The guideline also specify that independent auditors in accordance with high quality standards should perform annual audit. So what we are looking at is, is that the annual audit is extremely important and we have talked about its importance in other sessions uh, previously. So uh, again, uh, we do not have to dwell into that. Uh, the responsibilities of the board 
include corporate strategy, risk management, executive compensation and performance, accounting systems and reporting systems of, uh, of league mechanism. So, all of these are the core responsibilities of the board and they should look at it in a very uh, serious light. Uh, then again some of the principles, independent share uh, registries, foreign direct investment, uh, standards for transparency and reporting, uh, stakeholders participation, property rights and their protection, uh, international accepted accounting standards and internal uh, audit company. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we see is, is that this uh, particular OECD uh, principle set uh, is extremely important because it streamlined uh, the variances uh, operating uh, within the ambit uh, of, uh, of this very important topic of OECD and its principles and then how it can be implemented in a better way and then what would be the results uh, based upon uh, this particular uh, experiment. So, again the OECD uh, plays a major role and it is very important that uh, we uh, as responsible corporate citizens uh, adopt uh, those different laws so that they can be more understanding, more uniformity and a better way forward uh, for all of the stakeholders. Thank you.